dialogue. There are many different ways that games use dialogue, but for this video we're going to be talking specifically about the typewriter effect. This is the traditional text box dialogue. Games have been doing this for decades now, and to this day, it's still a very convenient and effective way to convey a character's thoughts or voice, or even text on a sign. And it makes sense, because what could be more convenient than just writing text? But I think text boxes work best when working with characters. Each character can have their own quirks in the way that they spell or write things, and this allows you to give them more personality that they wouldn't have otherwise. And right now, I'm trying to write a story for my game, and to create a nice storytelling experience for the player, I'm going to feed it to them through the text box. So, where do we start? Well, the very first step is the traditional typewriter effect. Every letter displays itself one by one until the message is fully written out on screen. Ah, uh, there we go. Not too bad. But I want to spice it up a little bit. I want to make some scary text. Text that shakes like someone's screaming at you. I've seen games do this before, and I loved it. It's a nice way to convey anger or loudness. So, to do this, all we have to do is split each character into its own text label. We can move each letter up and down, left and right, shake it around violently, get all of its lunch money out, and just like that, you put all those text labels in a list, and there you go. Shake whatever message you want. But there's one issue. Now that the whole message is split up into individual letters, it doesn't care about words anymore. So at the end of a line, the words get cut off, and it doesn't know how to deal with that. This had me scratch my head for a little while. But then, after some thought, it actually wasn't that hard to fix. My solution was to put each word into its own group. Each letter is still split up into an individual text label, but then we use the spaces between the words to find the words themselves. And then we group the letters together so that it is now laid out in frames of characters. It sounds kind of weird to say out loud. It's just uh, Roblox terms, but uh, whatever. You can translate this to whatever game engine you use. In summary, we grouped up the letters into words so that the letters can still move around, but the words cannot be broken apart. This allows us to do all kinds of stuff now that we can move the letters individually without worrying about words getting cut off. We can make the text wave up and down. We can make the letters shake when they appear. There's so many things we could do here, and there's so much expression we can give a character who says something. I really can't wait to show you what I'm going to use this for. But for now, that's all I have for you. I just wanted to share this cool little text adventure I went on. I got a lot more stories like that if you're interested. So, let me know. On that note, I'll see all of you another time.